So what's cool about Metroid Other M is that we have these previously on Metroid Other M stories when we load the game. Baby. Samus receives a distress call known as a baby's cry while flying through space. Baby. Something stirs within her and Samus sets out for the distress call's source, a decommissioned facility called the Bottle Ship. The Baby Bottle Ship. Before long, baby Samus encounters bottle a group ship. of soldiers led by her former commander in the Galactic Federation forces, Adam Malkovich. With Samus's help, Adam's team defeats a gigantic creature. Adam uses the, in the incident as an opportunity to ask Samus to for her aid if she'll be willing to follow his orders. As the soldiers split up to search the area, Samus begins on her assigned test of check Restore out the main power sector. To yeah. The thing. Yeah, all right. And I noticed how they specified, you know, this is Adam's way of actually speaking to a woman. He's just like, "Oh, yeah, we got a battle situation going on here. Can you uh you, you, you're pretty great. Can you help us out here?" Yeah, thanks. So, they want us to go down to the system management room and turn the power on. That is our first task as an as a a uh, Temporary officer in the Galactic Federation, I suppose. I think we can manage that. <laughs> I think we can, too. <laughs> so, we're gonna get to a lot of the explorative parts, the nitty-gritty of, of the game, how how the gameplay loop is gonna be going. I now. saw that dodge there, that was pretty neat. And each room is basically a whole bunch of, en of enemies in it. Let's see how well you can get through them all without getting hit. I like it, I like it. Oh, I didn't even notice so that was a thing start, you could go into. So start things out. These are what our E-Tanks look like. They're red. Made of pure energy. They're red, and that's- I, I, I don't so? get that. But now we got an extra bar of health. I don't need you nitpicking colors, dude. It's- but it's Come wrong. On. It's wrong, though. Come it was on. never red before, now it is. Come on, Team Ninja's never played a Metroid game. I Clearly. Alright, here we go. It's a boss fight. Kill him, kill him. Alright, is this just the war wasp hive? So, yeah, these- the, uh... Yeah, the, these hives keep spewing out these, uh, gleamers or whatever they're called. You have to kill the hives? You gotta kill the hives. Oh, okay. Is that a first per- yep, first that's person a, that's thing. That's a first person thing. I'm trying to do that because you know it's just- It's as natural as- as a, <laughs> as a river of peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> now just imagine trying to get out of a gloopy river of peanut butter. Peanut <laughs> butter. I'm not talking like the Jeff, I'm talking like, you know, the oily stuff. Ah! That stuff. Where it's like- where it like congeals on top and it's just- See, that's my favorite kind of peanut butter. I mean, yeah, but not when the oil's on top. It's, ew. Well, that's why you. That's why you got to mix it up and put it in the fridge, it's so it so it settles like fridge that. Fridge peanut butter. Fridge peanut butter. What? It's so. Oh man. What? What? Well, what kind of peanut butter do you eat? Jif. Keep it in the pantry. You and Vi are the same. It's like sure you get peanuts, but look at like look at the ingredients list of your Jif. All those preservatives that you're eating. <laughs> My peanut butter has only got one ingredient. You know what it is? Peanuts! <laughs> it doesn't even have butter. <laughs> you just tried to scrape on fresh peanuts <laughs> onto your toast. <laughs> hey, power's back! Power's right. back on. So now we can, uh, they want us to go back to the navigation room to continue the story. But, it's a Metroid game, right? Yeah, there should be things to collect. So there are indeed things to collect. We are going to get three things. Five, four, five, five four, things. Five. Do I hear five? Five things before we continue the game. Okay. First thing is back at where we parked. See, this is the stuff I enjoy. When, you, when you're when you running around, you're picking up items, and she's like, all right, cool, we're, we're in there. And this, this, you know, we have to have that, and that's... This is one of the few strengths of Metroid Other M. So it still feels like a Metroid game in some aspects, but, right? But they took away so many things, and they added on so much unnecessary well, fluff that it feels eh. just... It's, it's a confusing Metroid game. It, like, it feels like Yoshio Sakamoto played Metroid Prime and says, Oh, I can do better than these Yanks. <laughs> and he can't! I really feel like he... he you know, missile, missile, uh, pick up. Hey, right. look at that missile tank. I really feel like Yoshio Sakamoto just felt threatened by Metroid Prime. <laughs> that somebody took his baby and made a better Metroid baby. game than he did. Baby. Because Metroid, because Metroid Fusion was so poorly received and didn't sell as well That's as Metroid, it. Metroid Prime. That's it! That's it. That... That is exactly why there's so much baby talk in here. Mm -hmm. he somebody took my Metroid baby and made it better. And it's now forgetting who its dad is. Well, I am. Uh, I am Adam Malkovich. I, I dislike the characterization. Samus to me is supposed to be strong and empowering, but instead she's she's weak. She's simpering. She's demure. She's unsure. This is not the Samus I know. I'm starting to think. When did Yoshi Sakamoto figure out that Samus was a girl? I don't know. I, f I felt like that. He had to re had to. I could just think he's playing his game. He's like, I made a what now? Like, oh oh no, she's a woman. Who's you this see? Broad? So we gotta bring, we gotta bring in just this 
it's it, it's 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 almost sexist. I just feel really uncomfortable. All these all these men it, it, telling me how to do my job that I off, do better than them. Easy, man. It comes off really bad. It does. It's it is not the best writing. And of course, winning winning combination with Team Ninja is also not a good combination. Now, this is not this is not Itagaki Team Ninja. Though. I know, this but is not Itagaki. Still, Team Ninja. There, there are certain things in Ninja Gaiden. It's just like, all right, did you really need to have this? It's, it's still Dead or Alive Team Ninja, though. <laughs> it's still Dead or Alive Three Team Ninja. It's not it's not that bad though. Obviously, just, just imagine if we had Other M being made by the team who wanted to start, you know, covering up the girls. <laughs> like, how would that go? Probably a lot better, because mm, Sa Samus removes her suit like three times in an hour. <laughs> She's gotta take that bitch off. My my theory about the power suit is that it does a lot in damage reduction. Like, I get slammed with a bulldozer. That would liquefy a man's internal organs. But for her, it's just like being Ugh. being nudged or pushed against a wall. It's like getting like punched by a very large fat man. Well, I, I was thinking that too. Like, she's getting bitten, she's getting shot, and all of that, like, she doesn't even falter, so it's just like, tink, ah, ah, that hurt. But like, when it, the, like, it still gives you a bruise, but... But when it the power suit gets hit you. enough and it gets damaged enough, it, well then that, all, that, all that damage just explodes and not only does, does she die, she like super dies. She like explodes <laughs> into a whole bunch of million pieces. Yeah, she like super special awesome dies. She's like, blah, blah. Screen turns white because that's the afterlife, baby. <laughs> and oh, the bridge is out. And that's how death works. All right, overblast. Uh, oh. We're going to get into some finishing moves. Ooh, okay, so you, okay. You charge your laser yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can jump on them. It's a little, a little picky on how it does it, but you can do that and Ooh. basically finish it instantly. All right, watch that health, mate. I just noticed everything's dealing a heck ton of damage. Yep. Wow! So, so concentration. This is, what, this is what you do when your health is low. What? You, you need to go. You need to literally go into go into a corner and suck your thumb. What? Yep. Really? Yep. Hang on. Let me take care of these guys first. No, so I, won't I understand. Take too I long. Understand. It'll be easy. Because you're supposed to use the death move on them. You're supposed to just jump on them and just, just, yeah. But you've been, you know, kind, kind of getting rocked, so. So you do that, and there you go. You got, you get one, uh, one e tank back. One free tank. One free tank. You have to be in red health in order for that to work. Wow. Interesting. Good job on the missile tank, by the way. We've already got our fifth e tank, or our fifth missile tank. Yeah. It's crazy. Or uh, missile, excuse me. <laughs> Five E tanks already. Whoa. Uh, uh, oh. Well. Uh huh. Uh huh. I, I am the fool. Yes. Yes. You are the jester. Oh, there was something else I need to do back here. No. Okay. No. It's all right. You're just scoping the area. I understand. Right. Got to go with the context, and that usually just means missile. And I got and. It's, it's not that you that you select the missile, it's that you lock onto something, and the game runs through a wheel to see if you have the power-up has- the, 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 if, if that power-up has been approved or not. Okay, I have to ask you something. Yeah. That first-person BS. Uh-huh. Do you think that was a Nintendo call because they wanted the Wii to be useful? I don't know. Because that just seems like a Miyamoto going, I made this motion control, I'm gonna put it in everything. I, I really don't know. I want to think that that was a Yoshio Sakamoto type type thing. Because he wanted to blend first and third person, and they did it in the worst possible fucking way. You know, because, you, you know, if I was using the nunchuck, right? Wiimote nunchuck? It'd probably using be great. that, I could just, I don't know, press a button, and bam! I'm right there in first person! And look! It's already positioned, so I can aim with it. Pew pew pew! It's perfect. Whoa! This 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 is Star Fox Zero levels of bad man, <laughs> of, of terrible, Whoa. dumb, stupid decisions right, that they we, made. We, we've all said things we regret, oh, but uh, oh, I know you don't regret that I, at all. I, <laughs> I, I, I really do, I really do think that's the case. Well, they, they, that, that's another example of hey, I've got this gimmick. I'm gonna use it. It's a it's a gimmick, and it's just bad writing. Oh well, yeah, that can't save a well, gimmick. Star Fox Zero didn't have bad writing; it just had bad gameplay. But <laughs> and this at least has all right gameplay, most of the time. Samus, go through the hatch on your right and head towards Sector One. Yes, sir. But all right, things are going good when they just shut up and let me play the game. So let's shut up and play the game. We're gonna get some more power ups. Let's go. <laughs> all right, more power ups. So Adam is also seeing what everybody's doing at this point. From from up there in that uh, in that little booth, he can he he can see everything we're doing. We're all radio connected into him you know for a for an area that just got like 
killed by a bunch of bugs and a bunch of other monsters. Why would you want to stay alone in one area? Well, the door's locked. Oh, well, how convenient. That door won't open until very end game. So he's he's just gonna sit there on his fat ass the entire time. Yep. Really? Get a little just barking nice. orders the entire way. The entire time. There's a hive up here. I think you could be a little clever. I don't fucking yeah, think so. It's, it's just a it's a little bit of target. There we fire. go. There we there go. There we go. There we go. All right. Get the heck out of here. And all that so we can unlock something for later. Because we can't. Oh, we, oh, we can. There we yeah, go. Yeah, we can. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We still can't get it, can we? We can get it. We just have to, like, hang up. Wait. All right. All right. There we go. Right. There I need we to go. look around for the context there. clue. We had to blow it up with a missile in order to get a missile expansion. Figure that one out. Because I'm still trying to. Waste a missile, gain a missile. I guess. Yeah. Look, they, they gotta get the first person thing. The deadline's coming up, and, you know, the, the investor's gonna he pull out. You didn't need the first person. No, no you didn't. You, you really you didn't. literally did not need it. They try to do too many things at once, too. Like, it's gotta be a st it's gotta be an emotional story. It's gotta be a, a high, high impact action. I mean, it's gotta you, be, uh... You were talking about, and including the nunchuck, you got two extra buttons right there. Yeah. You got Z and C. In fact, you could literally hold the Z button to go into first person. Exactly! There you go. You win. Exactly! And in fact, you could assign the C button to, like, firing a missile or something it, like It that. was the easiest thing they could have done. That thing was designed for 3D movement. They just said, nah, we don't need that. Well... Yes, you do! You need that! Now, I wonder if the first person thing also came about because of uh, programming issues. Because this is actually a pretty good looking Wii game. It, yes, that is true. I mean, it, it looks and runs pretty good. So there's, I, there's some frame drops here and, you know, here and there, but nah, it's, that's just a product of, you know, a video game being a video game. Like if I squint, this could almost look like a, a, a launch PS3 title. Yeah, I'll agree with that. There weren't too many Wii games that actually looked like this. Like this high fidelity like, and actually like, good looking. Like even their Zelda's had to go into this sort of impressionistic style. Exactly. Yeah. They had to find a new style in order for it to not chug. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd still say this is a very pretty game. Here we go. It's an energy part. We get four of them, we get an E-Tank. Equaling ten. Such an equaling, odd choice. Equaling nine. Wait, what? Equaling nine. So a thousand total hit points. Or, sorry, 999. Well, I guess, you know, having no E-Tanks counts, counts as a tank, so... Mm. Total total of ten, but nine E-Tanks to get. Yeah, yeah, overblast them. Yep, that's how, you, that's how you quick kill. Just jump on them and boom. That easy. See, that's kind of rad. So it it flows okay. <laughs> I mean, except when they just, <laughs> just throw more and face. more on you. It, it happens. <laughs> well, I, I jump on their faces; they jump on mine. It's only fair. Okay, okay. There you go. He cools an exchange and all that. Because the gameplay, except for a few hiccups. So what the hell? Th that's not what's frustrating me. I'm 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 having I'm having some fun here actually. Jumping around, blasting stuff up. It's very impactful, especially when we get uh, the diffusion beam later when your blasts become like huge. When you charge them up? Why? So it feel it feels okay. Ooh. And we got three sections. This is an abandoned research facility, right? Yeah. I wonder what they were researching. Hmm. Hmm. They hmm. were probably researching abandonment. They might. They may. Yeah, Don't you leave know. me alone. You, you not know. again. You know. I was gonna. I was gonna. Yeah. I was gonna laugh at you, but you might be onto something here. <laughs> They're researching if we abandon the bounty hunter, what happens to our complex? I'm gonna mess around a bit too. I like it. Do, 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 Because I'm, I'm just imagining that as I'm playing this, Samus is still reeling from everything that's happened. <laughs> Has constant tears in her eyes. It's, 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 it's the midlife crisis. Like, like you know, she's, she's thinking about you know that baby's gonna save everyone, and then it, then it dies, oh, and then no. it's like, well, maybe I'll be like, just for some reason, no. unrelated to, unrelated to the baby, it just hit her really hard. It's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna be alone forever. What, how is oh, how is my how is my legacy going to last in this oh, cold, no. unforgiving world? See, that's a that's way more tragic, don't you think? That's terrible. The sheer like the, all those years of isolation, all those years of, of being back up, years of being the only one and being separated from your fellow man. That's probably got to eat at you a bit. All those Not a baby Bitway died, and I want my daddy to make me feel better. <laughs> my daddy told me what to do. He put he he sent me right. He sent me on the right path. 
just, now, now I, now I can imagine that if Samus sounded like that, she'd be even more reviled. It's just like, oh, please let me keep that baby. And it's, it's like, okay, no. And, and, they, and they were so big on, you know, giving yeah. Samus a voice. And I just find it so hilarious that in Metroid Dread, two lines in an, in an alien language and a guttural yell and people applaud that. Maybe this is one of those instances where uh, I like the subs better, so I don't have to listen to English. How about less is more? That's that's yeah, less is more. How's that sound, huh? <laughs> well, also, it actually made sense in context. All the things she's spouting off. I mean, uh, it's extra context. In fact, it's bloated context. I mean, imagine if you're playing a Halo game and and <laughs> Master Chief stops every five seconds <laughs> to lament about his fallen man or whatever. <laughs> And what, and, and what uh, Sergeant Johnson would think of him when, as he's making his way through. I think the best part is if he started monologuing after I killed a Marine, it's just <laughs> like, I, I remember when he was alive five minutes ago. It's like, all right, Chief. It was obvious that people were upset with me for my actions. Uh, it, it comes off as just... It, just, it's, see, it's, it's just weak sauce. See, this is why you don't give your Space Marines a lot of personality. You can give them some, just not a lot. Okay, what's that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh, hello! You get the fuck out of here! Was that a quick dodge I saw? Was that immediately acting on that thing grabbing you? I think, I think so. Awesome, I think, dude! I think that was using quick sense, but these guys can turn invisible. Ooh, can you can still kind of see where they are a little bit when they, when they fire their yeah, beam and all that. Acid at you. What you're supposed to do is use the missile, of course. No. Isn't that kind of cheating? We got a power suit. They don't. I, know, I, I win. <laughs> Good day, sir. Oh. Th see, that's why if you want to get shit done, you get a power suit. You ever seen Black Panther 2? I haven't, no. Oh. Well, we'll, go, we'll go do that. Well, I, I like it. It's, a, it. it's good. It's a great follow-up to the first one. But, you know, it's basically, you need a power suit. How do we solve our problems? You build a power suit. Oh, what, uh -oh, what do uh -oh, we do? Uh -oh. What do we do against the invading uh, water tribe? Grab that's going, a power that's going suit. to give you yeah, make a power suit. How do I become the next Wakanda? The next Wakanda king? Get make a power suit. They make a power suit and bam, solved in 15 minutes. I honestly thought you were going to say, "How do I become the next Hokage?" <laughs> you get a power suit. Do I mean you know? <laughs> it would probably still work. Doesn't Hokage mean uh, Black Panther in Japanese? <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> Every everyone you see in in the in the land of the dead and Black Panther is like I was the original Hokage. <laughs> I was the master ninja. <laughs> Alright, so you get us trap. Got these uh Oh, is it really? Venus fly traps up here. Uh-oh. Oh yeah. Some of them are alive. Is that really the beginner's trap? Uh, it's it's literally in your path. Well, if you're a beginner, you'd fall into it. I'm guessing it deals a lot of extra damage if it starts munching on you. Well, it can knock you off and make you have to go all the way around again, which is... Speaking of which... A pain. But at least they don't come back. That would have been, like, terrible. You know what this game kind of reminds me of? Just, like, the style of running side-scrolling and all this? What do you got? It seems like they took a note from Donkey Kong Country Returns. Maybe a little. And just, like, like this right here? This is cinematic, in air quotes. It's what DKC did. I got a problem with the run cycle though. It's it's, it's like stilted and it's what? just just stiff. It it looks, it looks normal. See, it looks fine, but it feels weird. Oh, it feels weird. And that's one thing you can't properly explain in videos yeah. how it feels. Especially with the D-pad, because I don't have that level of con that precise level of control. Yeah, I can see that. I f I feel like I have more control in Metroid Dread, you know, because I could I could slide, I could jump, I could you know do the do the speed boost. I was also using the control stick too. Aye, aye, aye. Yes, yes. What? You, you think that's a factor, man? Nah. Oh, no, I can't. Nah, be. Never heard of. Can't be. No. Never heard of it. Control stick. <laughs> to baby gamer. All right. Looks good. Looks good. Hey, more of the map. About to dive into sector one here. Are we gonna have to fight Spore Spawn? We're gonna fight a lot of stuff. A lot of Spore Spawns. See, I recognize these enemies. These are all from Super Metroid. Right. So at least enemy design is down pat. And then of course, fly traps. Should have been a Super, a Super Metroid remake, but it also feels like they're doing a Metroid Fusion remake because we're on the bottom ship. Is that what it was called in Fusion? No, it was called the BSL. BSL. Bottle ship is solely other M. 
Okay. Solely so they get their stupid maternal metaphor grabbed into the dirt. Baby. Babies, 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 mom, mom, mother, mother. <laughs> By the end of this, she'll be pregnant with a Metroid. See? Perfect. This is why I say it's Ninja Gaiden, because we have these encounters much like Ninja Gaiden. Ooh, nice dodge, nice dodge. I mean, I mean, they even behave like Ninja Gaiden enemies. You take damage like Ryo Hayabusa does in Ninja Gaiden. It's, it's, an, it's a Ninja Gaiden game. It's a Metroid Ninja Gaiden. Shouldn't you be happy? Oh, I mean, I, I, mean, I probably will. I mean, I mean, it feels okay, but... I'm, I, I can't wait to see a perfect comparison between this and Ninja Gaiden, because in Ninja Gaiden, when you take damage, 90% it's your fault, and then the other 10% is just bullshit. <laughs> like, you get shot from off-screen, so I'm waiting for that to happen here. I'm very curious to see if it'll happen here. Well, they love being stingy on health, too, so... Uh, yeah, I noticed that, too. I noticed that, too. And actually, now that I think about it, your save stations are the dragon statues. Mm -hmm. It's literally Ninja Gaiden. It's Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> Lethal Strike. Even got a finishing move all on Ninja Gaiden 2. Oh, dude. I can't believe they used this for Dread. Someone was bringing up uh, the body language in, you know, in Dread. Just how, uh, with with no with no words. Samus' personality comes through in each of her movements. I think the first boss says that deeply, especially when it's like raring up for another attack, and she just she just looks and holds up the arm cannon. Oh, that's the thesis statement right there. <laughs> that's just cool. But this one, she's she, like like I said, her shoulders are like bunched together, and she feels like she, she doesn't know how to hold that thing. Well, maybe just, she has scoliosis or something like that. I don't know. Maybe she has a midlife crisis <laughs> with scoliosis. <laughs> Mid spine crisis. <laughs> Her back is breaking while she's going, BABIES! That's number nine. And you said there were 70 of them? 70. Cool. We're almost one-seventh of the way there. Hmm. Wait, where the hell did we end up? Huh. Seems like a very important research facility. Oh, dude, they're growing holograms in there. They're doing something in there. I wonder oh. what, though. That door's locked. God, I hope it's Metroids again. I be it better not be Metroids. Oh, God, I hope it's Metroids. If, if it's Metroids, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm so gonna... then she can put press her face up against the glass and just go, baby. Anything? Oh, nothing in here. Maybe it's like something got a press or a little, little button I got to beep boop. No, I guess not. Can anything to anything, anything to scan? Doesn't seem like it. All right. What about down down there? All right, over here. I guess that was just a shortcut to this place, maybe. Oh, here uh, we go. Oh, good! The breeding room! I hate- I hate this camera angle. It just makes everything chug to a halt so we can get ready for cinematics. Here we go! Da -da. Da -da. Foliage! No! See, keep your visor like that, Sam. You look cool that way. I have one weakness. Oh, another scientist. That's not good. That's really not good. The large cage-like booth looked like something had been raised in it. And in one corner was the miserable... Why does she know there's an audience course. watching her? This victim hadn't sustained the same injuries. She's wording it in a Dead way where she's explaining it to somebody. Large. Unless this is just one long, drawn-out therapist session. This one. It's, it's... By a different bare bones, high school amateur narration. But she's speaking directly to us. Uh huh. That's what doesn't make sense. Felt something in the air, the presence of a dark intelligence. Cool. So um, I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. What? I was checking my phone, <laughs> and I forgot I was recording. <laughs> oh damn! The game. Right. I forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot. You actually what I was doing. blanked out. You were waiting for the cutscenes to end. That is so good, dude. That's a gamer right there. All these bullshit cutscenes. You know, just check your phone. Get and, out and, of there. And, and, I, and I, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a proponent of cutscenes. I, I defend Metal Gear Solid 4's hour-long ending. I, I love that shit. I watched every minute. And then there was something in there, and now it's dead. All right, cool. Let's let's jump in now. Yeah, let's get in there. You don't. Wait, what? Yep. Oh. Okay. 
Don't question it, it's just here. This is like a seed going into an egg. Create baby. We unlocked yes. this. Oh, I thought we unlocked that door. Baby. It was a different door oh, there's we unlocked. An opening. There's an opening. Nope. Oh. Alright, don't care. This- it's this door! Wait, what? But not that door, we gotta go back! Oh. Cutscene time! Alright! Now look at the thing what she's thinking of! What are we looking at? She sees something! She looked What did the, she see? She looked up her right, I think. What is it? Something around here. What could it be? Up. No hints. Up. No clues. Up. Up. Doesn't tell me anything. There's no, there's no uh, buttons. There's no, no, there's nothing, nothing. Tell me. Uh, uh, Wait, hey. what? There we go. That thing right there. Oh, hi. What? Hello. But she didn't look that way. It's a little, it's a little thing. It's a little, it's a little guy. He's eating a little, eating a little fruit. Oh, hey, hey, little guy. Can I be child. your, can I be your mother? Oh damn, oh. I was hoping it would mutate and have a big maw. Uh. Samus, proceed through the hatch I just unlocked. Your next destination is a little further Yep, ahead. uh, navigation room is behind that door, so... So, here it is. Uh, why did we need Stop to... It! Oh, well. Um... Is it secretly a predator? That thing is looking at me. It feasts on mothers. Why is it looking at me? I have seen your death. Uh... Huh. You will die, mortal. Okay, that's a little un. All right. So, it, yeah. it likes to eat chozo people. Okay, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to question it. I'm just gonna. Just gonna keep on. Yeah, I think you should question. It. We're, just, we're, we're just gonna keep on trucking. Yeah, I have that's, a feeling you should question. It, uh, you, you know. Throwing that up. It's probably. It, you know what? It's probably nothing. Adam told me not to worry about it, so I'm not going to worry about it. Just, yeah, just, Daddy said not to worry. Daddy didn't say anything about it, so that means it's nothing. <laughs> I hate that. I really hate that. But it makes it, it makes so much sense. It's you know she she she's regressing. I know. You know she's got to find some stability because she almost died, like almost really died. Super Metro was supposed to be like her like her biggest mission. By the time she gets the various suit, she's gonna be like jingling keys in front of her own face. By the time we're allowed to use it. Ugh. Ugh. It's like you're playing Doom Eternal. <laughs> and and each... Samson's like. You are not allowed to use the shotgun until I say so. Ah. What? Oh, wow. I didn't even see that. Dunk. So for these, we have these hologram projectors. Oh. Come over to them, turn it off, and oh. then reveal the way forward. That was actually a cool effect. So that, so yeah, that's that, that's okay, too. Huh. Because then it it uh, unlocks the rest of the room. It won't ever go back to that, and you can find other hidden stuff like this this expansion. Wow! Looky there. Do you have to deactivate that? Yes, because the door okay. won't open otherwise. Uh, same with the missile tank. Well, the miss yeah same, yeah with. The okay, door. okay. Pew pew. <laughs> it's it's also a way that the game can be primed for drama before we uh, turn into just another quarter to get through. Drama. What drama? Could oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I found out when I got gassed in this room that there was something coming up. I like this room. This room's okay. Good, this is pretty. Good water effects. Good and shiny. It, oh, something in there. And of course, every gamer sense you have to go behind the waterfall. Exactly. There is a hive behind there. That's perfect. So let's do another little... Oh yeah. my god. This is where you're supposed to go. This game is trying to trick you, saying, Ooh, where do you go now, sucker? Well, around here. Oh my gosh, I like this. Can't trick me. Yeah, you're just going around, finding stuff. See, that, see, that's okay. That, that that harkens back to Prime. That that felt okay. I I, I like that. See, when it's when it when it's when it pretends to be a Metroid game, uh, it's 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 doing okay. Metroid Prime, the hotter, smarter sister. <laughs> I want to be cool too. And this is the kid they hired for the pageant. <laughs> <laughs> Holy turn, cow! Turn that up, but it also kind of uh, wakes him up. I wonder where I shoot him. Hmm. Could be anywhere. Oh, you guys too. Well, let me go ahead and just, uh... Well, hang on. Alright, uh... Alright, here we go. One! Very good. That didn't kill? It didn't kill. Really? But the splash from that other one did. Okay, splash damage. That's a nice effect. It, it, so it does, like, lucrative damage. I like it. Say. There's one. There's two. Okay, cool. So when you get used to things... Things go a lot more smoothly. So that's uh, again, that's that's the something there. You know, we're we're, we're doing it. There's something we're there. We're playing there. it. We're we're being we're, we're being the Metroid folks here, doing the Metroid. You forgot something. Hang on. 
It's all right. It's all right. Maybe I could always go. Yes, back. yes, I did. Ooh, yeah, I didn't notice that. See, they. Uh, oh yeah, he's, he's stuck in there. See, also in this game, having to tell you absolutely oh, everything. The game will make a sound and a tone and start blinking blue and then have a highlight on the, where where a power-up is. Oh. And sometimes they just won't. Because they'll do that when all the enemies are dead, so I had to kill everything for it to go, Wait, there's something here! But if you're just going by a long play that I'm using, well, then you don't have to worry about that. You are dangerously close to dying. I'm fine. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm fine. Uh -huh. I'm fine. I'm super good. See? Check it. Good. Oh, good. I'm going like it's gonna be rough getting through here. It's gonna it's gonna be nail biting, but I I promise you, we're we're gonna make it. One way or another, we're gonna make it. I'll take your word for it. Please do. All right, exploring more of the uh, the uh, forest facility, whatever this is, the biological experiment facility. Sector one. Sure, we'll call it that. What else do you call it? Next time on Metroid Other M. Mmm. Mama, 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 mama.